video we are going to see the anatomy of a nose. In previous video we studied about the embryology and the coronal atresia. If you have not seen this video, I am putting that link in the description box below. Please go and see this video. If you like it, please hit the like button. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel to get various lectures, interesting models in ENT and other subjects as well. So, in the anatomy part 1 of nose, we are going to see about the external nose or osteocartilaginous framework of nose, lymen nasi or the vestibule, nasal ball and the lining epithelium of nose. Now, let us move towards the external nose osteocartilaginous framework. Osteocartilaginous framework. As the name suggests, osteo means bone and cartilaginous cartilage. When we feel our nose, we find two consistency. One, the soft and mobile cartilage and at the top, we get the hard immobile bone. So, we have two, the bone and the cartilage. Lower, lower two-third part of the nose is formed by the cartilage and the upper one-third of the nose is, is formed by the bone. What the upper one third is a bony part and the lower two third is the cartilage in this part. Before moving towards the images and see which cartilage and which bone forms the nose, we will first enumerate it, see whether it's paired and unpaired and then we will move towards the images. First of all moving towards the bone. Three bones form the bony part of the nose, two of which is paired and one is unpaired. What? Three bones form the bone part, bony part of the nose, out of which two is paired and one is unpaired. So, the nasal bone, it is like this, two nasal bones forming the bony part and it is paired. Okay, so we have it as a paired. Right, then we have the frontal process of maxilla, this. Okay, so this is the maxillary part, the maxillary bone and it is giving the frontal process, hence it is a frontal process of maxilla and it forms the part of the bone of nose. So we have the frontal process of maxilla and it is paired as well. Now we have one unpaired bone that is the nasal process of frontal bone. This is the frontal bone and it gives the nasal process which forms the part of bone of nose. So now we have the nasal process of frontal bone. And it is unpaired. What it is? It is unpaired. Now moving towards the cartilaginous part. Okay, I will write out here. Write it down here. Cartilaginous part. It forms the lower two-third of the nose. So lower two-third of nose. Okay. Now, the first cart, the one first cartilage is U-shaped cartilage, the LR cartilage. Okay, in image you will come to know why it is U-shaped and why it is where it is situated. But just for a noting down or for making the notes, we'll put it as LR cartilage, cart for cartilage, aka lower lateral cartilage. 
Okay, here in the nose we have the LR cartilage. It is U-shaped. Okay, over here. See, I will show you on the model. So if we see the nose from the downwards, this part is formed by the LR cartilage. Okay, it forms the lateral crust and the medial crust of the uh, of crust of the uh, lateral, uh, lower LR lower lateral cartilage and it is forming this part, the lower part. Okay, and hence it is U-shaped, U, it is an U-shaped cartilage. Also, uh, also called as lower lateral cartilage, LR cartilage. Then we have the upper lateral cartilage. Okay. Both are the paired one. Both are the paired. Lower lateral cartilage, upper lateral cartilage. Then we have the lesser LR cartilage. Okay. It is also called a sesamoid cartilage. Okay. And it is paired as well. Right? Then we have one unpaired cartilage which is present in center. It forms the bridge of the nose and it is the super anterior superior border of nasal septum. It is the anterior superior border of nasal septum. Okay, so whenever we are we are doing the cosmetic surgery or any surgery uh, that is the rhinoplasty. The surgeon, the surgeon scrap out, excise this nasal septum and give the proper shape. But what happens if we scrap more part or more nasal septum, it will give a saddle nose. Okay, so the, normally the nose should be like this. It will be saddle shape. So it will give a saddle nose. Right? It happens when, when we excise larger part of the nasal septum. So let us revise once the bone and the cartilage and then we will move towards the image. Okay. We will directly move towards the image. All this will be revised there as well. So here in this image, I will be taking red for the bone. And red for the black for the cartilage. So let us see the bones. So this is the nasal bone. Now tell me whether it is paired or unpaired. It is a paired. It is a paired bone, right? It is a paired bone. P for paired. Now we have the frontal process of maxilla. It's paired or unpaired? It is paired bone. Now this is the nasal process of nasal process of frontal bone. This is an unpaired bone. So it is unpaired bone. Now can you see this suture over here? See this suture? This one? This is the frontonasal suture. What you call it as? Frontonasal suture. It is also called as nasion. A, a suture where the nasal process of frontal bone and the nasal bone meet. The nasal bone, the nasal bone if my this pain is a nasal process of frontal bone and my these two fingers are the nasal bone so the point the suture the point where these three myths it is called as nasion or frontal na fronto nasal suture okay now you can appreciate this suture as well right and this suture is called as rhinion 
whenever you say nose, you don't say directly rhino. 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 Uh, I have discharged no discharging nose is rhinorrhea. Sorry, uh, yeah, nasal, uh, we don't use this word rhyme on all of a sudden. First of all, we use a layman term, nose. So, the above, the first suture is nasion. Learn it as like first suture is nasion because we say it as a nose. And the lower suture rhyme on rhinus for the nose. Okay. Now, this completes our bone. Now, let us move towards the cartilage. Okay. You can appreciate here. Sorry, the black one. I said black for the cartilage. Can you see this brown colored cartilage? You can see only the lateral crust of this cartilage. And that cartilage is called as the lower lateral cartilage. What is the other name for lower lateral cartilage? The LR cartilage. And tell me whether it's paired or unpaired. It is a paired cartilage. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I'm really sorry. It's not the brown one. I'm so sorry. Please. Th this purple one is a lower lateral cartilage. Not the brown one. It is a um, any fibrous, um, a fiber elastic structure. This purple one is lower lateral cartilage and it is a lateral crust of lower lateral cartilage or LR cartilage. Now this green one is the upper lateral cartilage. Okay. Both are paired. Now can you appreciate this pink cartilage? This pink cartilage is the lesser LR cartilage. What is the other name for lesser LR cartilage? Sorry, well, what it is is it is a sesamoid cartilage and it is paired as well. Now, can you see this one? That is an anterior superior border of nasal septum and it is unpaired. Right? Let us see the other image for about clarified one. In this we had the lateral view. In this image we have we are going to have the frontal view. Okay. So I will erase this part. So we can label it again as well. In this image you can see the nasal process of frontal bone. Okay. These are the nasal bone. It is paired. This is unpaired. Okay. This is the frontal process of maxillary bone and it is paired. Now this is the upper lateral cartilage and it is paired as well. This one is the lower lateral cartilage and it is paired as well. This is the lesser LR cartilage and it is paired as well. Right? Now this, this straight one is nasal septum and it is unpaired. In this image, uh, we will go to the lower image. Uh, you can more clearly appreciate the lateral and the medial crust. See this U-shaped bone you can see. This bone is lower lateral cartilage. Or LR cartilage. And this is u-shaped as you can appreciate over here and it has a two crust as i described earlier this one is a medial crust and this one is a lateral crust okay